All right, here we are finally for testing for the ISCR Cup Series. So, as remember the uh, rules package, we're going to try to s mimic the NASCAR current NASCAR one. So it'll be 110% AI strength, but the drag modifier line has been bumped to two. So that should definitely slow them down a lot. And with the CTS physics, makes it even better. But if it's too slow, we can always change things. Two might be a little bit too high. It was originally one, but we'll see how the cars perform. Right now, Chase Elliott definitely has his... Uh, but all the way down to the floorboard. Only 146 gold alone. I, I think that's a little too slow. Yeah, I think we did a little too slow, a little too much. Actually, let's keep an eye on Chase Elliott. This is his first lap. Yeah, I overdid it. So definitely gonna be a big change. So how fast does Chase Elliott go? Thirty six seconds. Last season we would see speeds in the twenty seven up you know, to twenty seven seconds, so almost a ten second difference. Well, just to round everything up, make it more simpler. Well, this is crazy. So yeah, the draft is definitely gonna be be a big factor. So this is what we expect. But, uh, yeah, not, uh, not this crazy. Okay, 34 seconds, Suarez. Oh, he's in gear four, man. He's in gear four. He's really picking it up. Oh, Austin Dillon, but he's drag racing with, uh, Stenhouse Jr. 150. Kyle Larson now the fastest. 34.357. Look at this. Alright, so the only way they can get up to fourth gear is if they draft. And the race for sure they're gonna be like this. If well, this obviously is not a is a no go. We'll do a second day here at Kansas for uh to try to increase the drag. Hundred and fifty eight miles an hour to uh Matt de, de Benedetto now. The fastest was pushing Pretty much bump drafting Kyle Larson. Last, uh, our last Kansas race was pretty entertaining. This rule package uh, might not have that. Even if we adjust it back to, uh, even if we just lower drag just a bit, make it maybe 1.5. Then uh, we'll see. 32.898 by Michael McDowell. Look at this huge pack. But we always see huge packs at uh, Kansas. But they're going so slow. Okay, uh, they're really going single file. Like, this is a super speedway. They still pull out the pass as they go three wide. Ryan Newman, Darrell Wallace Jr., and Clint Boyer. Uh, Emmerich, he got up to second. Corey LaJoy th in third. Uh, Paul Menard in fourth, Austin Dillon in fifth, 32.647. So 160. Four wide. Hey, four wide's now doable without any, well, without any, yeah, without big crashes or anything. But look at this. Wow. A huge speed difference really slow it's like you have it on 70 percent imagine what 70 percent I think we would uh, be going 120 these guys were going up to 200 miles an hour entering the corner now it's 160 entering the corner 
Yeah, they basically have it all the way down. As Hemrick now leads the pack. Few changes. Here's a four car pack. There's a 10 of all aroma, David Reagan, Ty Dillon, and a Chase Kelly, who is currently the slowest driver. It's Ryan Blaney, 34.6. Oh, that was 34.581. And we're going to get a big run here. At Tiff. 23rd. Not even close. 32 and 34. Drugs Jr., Joey Logano, Alex Bowman. It's a real nice 88 paint scheme. That's what they should run in uh, real life. They should hire these NR Trails 3 uh, painters. Because they make some really kick-ass paint scheme. I do not like Bowman's paint scheme. Just blue and white. But this, look at that. That's a paint scheme. As Bowman gets by Joey Logano. Got uh, one of each right here in this pack. Toyota, Chevy, and Ford. Here's Kurt Busch in the one car. 28th, Ryan Blaney's still the slowest. Kyle Busch is the second slowest. These guys can pick something. I don't think they can. That was his fast stop. Not last anymore. Who is it? It's Kyle Busch. 34.577. As his brother Kurt Busch pushes Ryan Blaney through the quarters. But well, these guys are, have like no speed. 150. Byron's all alone. Harvick, also alone. Still in third gear for these guys. Anyone who's running alone is basically stuck in third gear. Because unless they pick someone up to draft with. So 160 is the highest. And look at this huge pack. They would have wrecked by now, but they're going so slow they can't wreck. Unless they tried. Unless they purposely try to cause a wreck. And oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. Okay, uh, just when I was said I said that, 32, 66, and the 21, all four drivers, oh, Johnson and Larson, nearly T-Bone Ryan Newman. That 60 car is, is going to be a one-race steel ride, that's not going to be a full-time ride for sure. So the one-race steel rides are coming back. Once we get the Cup Series started once again for the 13th season, going to be some changes, slight changes, may or may not surprise you, but I think you can take a hint. No, I'm not going to say much, because it's pretty obvious, but if, yeah. Three wide, three wide. Testing will be shorter after this because I think we got enough done enough testing. We know what needs to be done. So decrease the draft will be 1.2 drag, not draft. Maybe 1.5 or 1.25 one quarters. 7.5 I think it's still going to be too slow. Grip levels I don't think I need to touch. Unless I want a Pacific, Pacific, specific line to go to be better than the others, like the outside line. Well, I love that outside line. Sometimes. As long as the inside line is equally matched. Some tracks, the inside line is impossible to make a move. That just allows the leader to just to... Go right, just hang on on the outside line for the entire race. Dover was only one example, but then we made a little adjustments of that. So McDowell is still the fastest. I'm pretty sure he's going to be the fastest for the entire race. For race. The entire session. As the big pack we just saw is now gone. After getting caught up with a slower car. McDowell, however, still the fastest, you know, with a four-car pack, four, yeah, four-car pack. Running alone, though, 
pull away just a bit. Ty Dillon, 14th, Hong Kong, 15th, 16th, and 18th. Oh, almost. Almost had them all in the line. Perfectly in line. So, testing will be shortened to 15 minutes now for day two. And uh, super speedways, uh, they're not, well, they ran plates at the 500, but we're not going to run plates. We're going to do testing at Daytona and Talladega, then. Short tracks don't need to be tested, neither do uh, road courses. Look at them, four wide. This time these guys are able to split. Don't, not causing a wreck. Don't want to wreck these test cars. It's still good for racing. Need to gather some more fictional cars for those one race deal rides. They already have the 60 car. There's plenty that came with the mod, but I need more. Definitely gonna need more. Can any of these drivers knock out McDowell? Might be able to. No slight contact there. Corey LaJoy, third fastest still. No change, nothing. I think this is set because this is going to be a lot of time so we can end testing right now with these drivers. They like to keep going. We should try Charlotte actually. Said uh, okay. No plates but we're not going to be running like 200, 200 miles an hour alone and 220 or 240 in the draft. That will be just ridiculous. No plates. No plates at all. We're going to test that. Including the 500 and the duels. Because why not? Get a better idea of having it when they start racing. Oh, trouble, trouble. There they go, there they go. Again, the 21 car wrecked. Oh, that's two cars for Paul Menard now. Slides down. Not all the way down, but hopefully no cars coming in. Oh, he would have been launched into the air. Two wreck race cars for the number 21 car, and for some reason Menard skips pit road. No point in completing the lap, it's not qualifying. But he does it anyways. 45.5. Fourth fastest though. So that uh, another big pack, now all split. That might be good, because now they're all single file. Get some better lap times than the 88 to the apron, cutting the course short, but absolutely nothing, nothing at all. 33.6, 34.0, 34.3, 9th, 7th, 13th, 3rd. minutes to go here. So current top 10, McDowell, Hamrick, LaJoy, Menard, Newman, Kozlowski, Suarez, Dylan Stenhouse Jr., and Daryl Wallace Jr., or Bubba Wallace. Those are the top 10 fastest, a lot of big names. Ryan Blaney, Kurt Busch, Kyle Busch, or Kyle Busch, Kurt Busch, William Byron, Kevin Harvick, Clint Boyer, Eric Jones, Chase Elliott, Joey Logano, below top 15. So, 10 minutes to go, left in testing.
think we should try it, Charlotte, but uh, not for Cup. Maybe, well, and maybe for Cup. Yeah, sure, why not? A lot of tracks we gotta test, actually. So, I'm pretty sure we're gonna get it right in day two. So, we can just do one day at the Charlotte. And now let's try Auto Club. We'll try to test that Charlotte and Auto Club. And then we'll do, then we can stop with the cookie cutter tracks. Then we can all head off to Daytona. Four wide, getting close. 41 of Suarez nearly got hooked. So at this point, they're just uh, waiting for those big wrecks. These guys could still pass. Still doing alright. Las Vegas was a bit better. Matt Tiff looking to bail. No, that's not Matt Tiff, my mistake. That's uh, Chris Pusher. Uh, yeah, Chris Pusher. There's Matt Tiff, which is so. Oh, here we go. We got some changes. So let's see. Senhouse Jr. now 10th. Dylan is now 9th. Bowman is 8th. Suarez, Keslowski, Newman. Well, I think the Newman was already. Well, the top 5, I think, stayed the same. But the rest have changed. There are Wallace Jr. Where is he at? Oh, we got us. There's another wreck. Three wrecks, surprisingly. He's now down to 11th. Just lost a spot. Let's see. Nope. Could not beat that time. Who wrecked this time? Oh, 13 and 38. Reagan and Dylan. And Dylan is, has a lot, a lot of damage. Up in smoke. I'll need to drive it back to the garage area. Well, they all do anyway, so. So, three wrecks, surprisingly. It's like the racing. No need to go 3 4 wide, but I guess these guys want to test it out too. Uh, this is testing. I want to see how the cars react. But the cars slow down a lot. You could say, yeah, a lot. Four wide. Slow car in the way, landing castle. The double zero car is the full time ride. Starcom racing. Yeah, Starcom racing. Don't think we had that last season. But I could be wrong, the most likely. No, I don't think so. I don't remember it. Yeah, I don't think we had. Oh, look at that. Logano, now 10th. Logano was uh, down there. Around the... Was he 19th? When we saw him, and now he's up to 10th. So drivers are still fighting some speed. But in the top 5, they remain the same. 32.647, the fastest. But we'll see who's the fastest tomorrow. Dylan slides in front of Logano. See if we can push him. Jimmy Johnson, Eric Jones, now bail. They had the pit road. 39.9. Still in 10th. Dylan still in 9th. There's Boyer, 26. Hemrick. Kozlowski, Byron. Byron's the second slowest. And Matt Tiff is now the slowest. 33.655. Ryan Blaney was... The slowest for a bit now 23rd. There's Kevin Harvick's number four. Pretty plain main scheme. 29th. Chase Elliott 22nd. And there's Tibetanos 27th. There's Ryan Newman in fifth. Has not found anyone to work with. Or are you just playing it safe? How did I cut him up with that big wreck? Got a lot of damage on that six car. They rolled out a second one. This first one is pretty much... I wouldn't say junk, they'll probably take it back to the shop. And look at how quickly that nine car closes in. So drafting is going to be extremely, extremely important. 
Probably said it like a billion times, I know. But this is something we would not see while drafting by well, any track. Maybe not, well, short, obviously not short tracks. Sometimes road courses, when we have the long straightaways, you can pick up a draft. It's better than nothing. But a track like Kansas, it's mainly got to have the better car. We saw, while well, I was looking back at the last Kansas race we did, we had Marcus Itachi. He, uh, he won that race. Remember, he fell back, I believe, made an unscheduled pit stop. Had a really dominant car. And wherever he was, he pushed through and won the race. That might not be possible with the new package. Or maybe it might be even easier. I'm pretty sure the drivers will not like this. Will not like it at all. But this is usually to minimize to, to, the big wrecks and the ridiculous high speeds. But who knows, maybe this entire package thing is a waste of time. Because we might just go back to what we had. Because what we had was... It was, well, for some races it was pretty boring. Auto Club kind of sucked. Well, that's because I used a new one. But if I used the old one, the racing would have been great. Also depends on the track. So... But yeah, I tried to toy around with it. Atlanta was kind of... Not Atlanta like the Atlanta we're used to. So, this package might uh, do it. I'm trying to toy around the ratings. I'm trying to see if there's a good one or a bad one. So far, it's... Uh, keep them close. Makes them more equal, but doesn't... Really show... The craziness. Like the four car had in the, the last race. That was amazing. Let's see... Let's see what actually happened. I can just go back and see. As these guys are just pretty much rolling around. Gotta excuse these loud keys. Not a thing you don't want to use when you're accommodating or anything like that. Okay, okay. Let's see. So he was fifth on a restart. Looking at that big wreck we had. Andrew Johnson, he was a two car. Well, caught, caught up with the 43 car. Well, flipped over. Ooh. Wow, that's a bad wreck. Real bad wreck. That would not happen with this package. We saw Ryan Newman do it. If we had the old package, Ryan Newman would have been flipping over. Just like uh, Andrew Johnson right here, I'm watching right now. Who had a big tumble down into turn one with the 43 car. Who drove the f oh. I don't know. Okay, looks like I'm wrong. Not the four, or... Well, the four won the race. Yes, Marcus actually did win that race. But I guess he didn't make an unscheduled pit stop at all. Or did he, or if I just can't find it. Now look at that, Ryan Newman, he's back in 10th. Menard, LaJoy, Hemrick, Suarez. Kurt Busch, Ricky Stenhouse Jr., Kyle Busch, Matt Tiff. Wow. Where did all this speed come from? I turn away for like a few seconds. Okay, more than a few seconds. Several seconds. And all of a sudden, the top five finally changed. But Michael McDowell is still the fastest. I think he posted even a faster lap. 32.64. Or did he? No, I don't, think, well, I don't know. I don't think so. But his teammate, Matt Tiff, is now second fastest with Kyle Busch, who was lurking around. He was like 30th, 29th around there. So all of a sudden, all the speed and another huge pack. We've got the, all three of the furniture row, front row, front row motorsports cars. Within each other. Slows is now William Byron. Will these guys wreck? Got a Ford definitely fell back. But what a comeback by him. What a drive by that four car. He just hung on. He just kept going. He never stopped. And he won that race. Amazing. Amazing race that was. Menard pulling out. Yeah, yeah, I think he should, because 
he doesn't want to have a wreck a third car. And he's ninth fastest. So it's a very fast race car. All the cars he's had. He does not want to wreck this one. Probably told him to bail out because he only got a, just a couple seconds left. It's pretty much over. Just let him finish the laps. Scrolling through the field, we'll take a look at the wreck. Look at this, we got ourselves another huge pack. Only about three wrecks though. Not, uh, surprisingly not more. These guys should be alright, I don't think they're gonna wreck. So here it is. Alright. So testing it, Kansas is complete. Definitely gonna need a change here. Michael McDowell being the fastest car, followed by Matt Tiff, Kyle Bush, Ricky Stenhouse Jr., Kurt Bush, Daniel Suarez, Daniel Hamrick, Corey LaJoy, Paul Menard, Ryan Newman, your top ten fastest. And the top ten slows will be William Byron, Chris Butcher, Matt DiBenedetto, Clint Bar, Eric Jones, Ryan Blaney, uh, Chase Elliott. Eric Oliver with Ty, Dylan, Jimmy Johnson, and David Reagan. Top 10 slowest. So we'll be definitely going to a day two, but that is will be what after that we'll head on to Charlotte Auto Club, then Daytona. And uh, they we're definitely gonna have a lot of testing at Daytona. Three days. Or two days, one night. Or three separate sessions, whatever you want to call it. So that is it for today. And uh, we'll see you in day two.